here at rockandguitarlessons.com and youtube.com slash rockandguitarlessons1 that's Dio with Stand Up and Shout one of my favorites man back when he had Vivian Campbell on guitar who plays for Def Leppard now but man these days were a huge influence on me and Vivian Campbell was a huge influence on me I loved his style and technique reminded me a lot of Gary Moore which I didn't realize till a couple years later but he definitely was a Gary Moore fan so let's jump into this standard tuning on on the CD when they played live, they tuned down flat, the half step. Usually that's for vocals, um, so the singer don't have to sing as high, but you know, Dio could sing to the stratosphere. But you know, when you're doing a full concert, it takes a toll on your voice, so there's lots of reasons. Plus, if you want a little heavier sound, you could tune it down. So I'm going to show you two parts to this. Um, open A, you're going to palm mute two times. Before you do that, get your first finger set up on fret 5 on the D and G, just bar it. Go. And then do that again, so it's twice. Actually, there's three of them. And then two palm muted A's, and then go fourth fret D and G with your first finger, hit those, rest, and then hit it twice. And he's kind of vibratoing that, so. And then start it over, but it was only two of them there, right? So we have kind of a rainbow, deep purple sounding riff. Go middle finger 5D, bar it. First finger 4D, bar it. By bar it, I mean D and G string. You're going to pick the D and G, pull off with your middle finger to the fourth fret, which that's why you want them both sitting down, and then pull off to an open off that. So it's a double pull off. Then you go up to 7, D, and G, bar that, vibrato. Rest, and then down, up. Or up, down. So, slow down, it's... And then you just repeat it, speed it up. It takes time, you know, play it clean, pr push your limits, see how fast you can go with it, but when it starts getting to the sloppy point, we all have it, I do too. Then slow it down and then you know keep practicing it daily and it'll it'll get faster. Okay, next part. Go seven D and G bar it. And then it's down, up. So one, two, three, four, five, open A's, palm unit. An alternate pick or you can downstroke. If you downstroke, you know, it's going to make your work faster, but it keeps it more tight and choppy that way. So, but Vivian's, I'm pretty sure, alternate picking that. So after you do the 5 D and G bar, one, two, three, four, five, palm you today's, then you go to the ninth fret on the D and G. Go down, up. One, two, three, four, five, open A's, palm muted. Then fifth fret, bar, D and G. So. Five open, palm muted A's, right? And then go to the tenth fret, same thing. Down, up. Five open A's, palm muted. And then fifth fret, D and G. Slides that 10th fret one partially too. He does. Four open A's, palm muted again, and then he goes. It's a pentatonic riff he's doing. 
5D, third finger, pinch harmonic. And then 3D. So 3D and then 5A, third finger palm mute. So we have two times. And then a third time we go. Or uh, so let me show you that, that last riff. Five, four, three on the A, third finger, second finger, first finger, palm muted. And then first fret A, pinch harmonic. And vibrato. Then you start the whole riff over. Love this song, man. Um, so Dio, stand up and shout. Vivian Campbell, the guitar player. I'm Mike Gross, rockinguitarlessons.com. Speaking of Dio, I was in a band with his guitar player, not Vivian Campbell, but Craig Goldie. One heck of a nice guy. I miss you, Craig. I uh, talked to him for about 15 seconds on the phone about a year ago. And we had started a little project, and then he ended up joining Dio again. He was working with a guy named Jeff Finholt for a while, for a while off and on. And, um... Anyways, I need to contact him. But he came in on the uh, Dream, Evil, Dream Evil album, I believe. Yeah, that was the, the first one he was on. He was also in a band called Jafria and Rough Cut. So anyways, back to what I was saying. RockingTarlistons.com is my website coming at the end of 2012. I hope you become a premium member there. Very affordable. It will shape your playing and build your, your knowledge and, and hopefully open your mind musically and stretch you as a musician to where you don't just stay in one one realm. Um, I would get bored if, if that's how guitar was. If the, you know, to me, give me a pair of scissors or a screwdriver. If I didn't have fingers, I'd find a way to play it. So um, just keep an open mind with music. Very important. YouTube.com slash rock and guitar lessons one is my YouTube channel. Subscribe if you haven't. Once you've done that, uh, send, you know, just put it in the comment section uh, requests of your favorite songs that you've always wanted to learn, the riffs, and I'll get them done for you accurately, down to the tuning and all that. And um, leave your comments in to me, so anyways, because I want to see what's up with you guys. Um, I love doing this. I love my subscribers. You guys are the best. Spread the word about me. Let them know who Mike Gross is. If you know people in bands that are playing cover tunes and they need help on it, send them my way. Or just a guitar player that's frustrated that wants to get to the next level, send them my way. And we'll get them hooked up. All right. Um, I guess that's it. Make sure you subscribe, though. Very key. Spread the word. I'm Mike Gross. That's Dio. Stand up and shout. See you guys. <laughs>